No, I'm recording. Gotta check ourselves, you know. Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today I have Austin and Justin from Park Wild and I'm just so excited to have you guys because I've never really had guests on my channel before. Today we're going to be talking all about like guy advice for girls. I have some questions for them about like dating apps, like what they look for in a girl, all those sort of things that like I just wonder on a daily basis. But before we start, make sure to check out all of their social media. All the links will be down below at Park Wild. Check them out, they're amazing. And our single drops January 19th, it's called Too Late. But let's just get started. First thing I wanna ask you guys about is dating apps. Like what do you think of dating apps? Is that a place to go to like find a girlfriend or like a hookup? I think it depends on the person. My roommate's making this movie, if you can hear that, by the way. <laughs> it can be either, but it just depends how it goes once you actually meet the person. Myself, I've been in a relationship for three years and I met on Tinder, so, it worked for me. <laughs> So when you guys met on Tinder, like, did you message for a while and then you went on a date or was it like I had to this? convince her to go on a date with me really? and, and I had to convince her just to give me her number. I think about two weeks went by on the app. Somehow got her number. She would not go out with me until I took her to an off-Broadway show, but she's an actress, so oh. it worked. And huh. three years later, can't complain. Wow. Yeah. See, I don't do that. I'm like, I don't really feel like talking, doing this small talk thing. like. What's your number? Let's just go get drinks, get it done. I feel like some girls are that way, where it just it's very quick and it works, or it's the other way, where like they want to talk for a few days or right. something, and then then you get to the the number and the the texting and then the meetup. But so obviously you love Tinder. That's your preferred dating app, Justin. It's the only one I was ever on. <laughs> I'm, more of a, I'm more of a Hinge guy. Okay, yeah, I like Hinge too. There's a lot more info. Mm -hmm. And agreed. I mean, I love J Swipe, so that's my favorite. <laughs> Um, personally, <laughs> if you really needed to know. What attracts you to a girl? Like what she wears, her confidence. I definitely love confidence and I love somebody that aware of who they are and is comfortable in their own skin. I don't necessarily think that looks are the defining quality of somebody. I think that a girl who is ambitious and is kind of out there doing her own thing. First thing I always notice is a girl smile. Like you and I are on the same page. That's the first message I, I sent my girlfriend. That you liked her smile? I thought, I said, you have a gorgeous smile. Oh, okay guys. Hear that? Be confident and smile. That is how you get a boyfriend, okay? Do you guys think you can be friends with someone after a breakup? Depends. I think if you were friends beforehand, you know, there's obviously gonna be some sort of awkward transition period. And I personally haven't experienced it, but I guess from my naive standpoint, I believe that you could be. Um, I've had it both ways. It's kind of how the breakup goes down, or yeah. it's just kind of like who you are as people, yeah. and whether that is just going to work or not. I, I think it's possible, but my thing is like, I wonder if you can truly like be friends, like still be in each other's lives, but is there always gonna be like a weird like connection feeling between the two of you? I mean, you definitely shared something yeah. that you know, normal friends don't share, so there's right. that. <laughs> exactly. What do you think separates hooking up from a serious relationship? It's when it starts to become like, not, oh, I want to go hang out with this person, but more like when something good happens in your life or something important happens, they become that person you want to tell these things to. Mm -hmm. Or when you're thinking about like, oh, what do I want to do tonight? What do I want to get for dinner? It's like, oh, I want to go to dinner with this person. I want to do like everything with them. That's when it starts to move into that relationship realm. That was very insightful. I really loved that answer. It's really cute. It's reminding me how single I am. Who do you think should say I love you first? I think whoever feels it first. I mean, in one sense, it's just words. Right. You know, you show it well before you yeah. say it. And you both probably feel it before oh, you say it. Oh, absolutely. And I know, you know, I think it's that one, you know, everybody's afraid to cross that line. There's a Hollywood effect when it comes to that because mm -hmm. it's made out to be this like huge defining moment of a relationship, yet it really is just simply telling yeah. someone. That's so, yeah, movies, TV shows make like saying I love you like this huge big thing. like. I tell Alana I love her every day. There you go. She's our PA for the day, pretty much. Hey, Jordan subscribers. <laughs> Next, I want you guys each to tell me like three 
three factors to make a relationship last. Like what you, three things that you need to have in this relationship to make it last till the end of time. Trust, communication, happiness. Okay, this one I'm so interested in because I think about this every single day. Because looking at your crushes or girlfriends or hookups, whatever, social media means something. Like does a guy looking at your Instagram story or snap story mean something? If I like a guy, like, I will look at his Snapchat all the time. I don't look at anyone's, really, but, like, I will always look at his. If I look at my Snapchat and it says it posted 20 minutes ago, I'm like, I gotta wait an hour until I can look at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, do you guys think about that stuff? I mean, I personally forget about all social media on a regular basis, which is not a good thing. My girlfriend will text me, um, hey, did you check out my Snapchat? And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Not I mean, I, I'm not going on every 10 minutes looking at who looked at my story. Okay. Um, so you don't look at who looks at it. Okay. But it can mean something and it can also not mean something if you're looking at someone's story because I've all, like, I've mindlessly scrolled through right. the stories or how Instagram just keeps moving on to the next one. Right. It's not really, like, planned, but there's a pattern developing. I've had it where, like, you like someone's photos, they like your photos, it's yeah. back and forth, and then it's like, Slide in the DMs. Right. Let's do quick fire. Cool. What is the most important thing to you in a relationship? Trust. Same. Trust. Okay, good. Celebrity crush. Mila Kunis. Haley Steinfeld. Really? My celebrity crush is, I have so many, but Nick Jonas and Miles Teller. Biggest turnoffs. Pass. Pass? Well, it goes along with what I said earlier, but like a lack of ambition. Just okay. a lack of getting out there and getting something done. That's like an internal, like intense turn off. Is there a turn off that's like, yeah, she like picks her nose. You know what's bad? <laughs> Having bad dental hygiene. Yes, I can't agreed. Do. All right, there is that's one. That's horrible. Not a pass. That's horrible. It's really bad. Like just brush your teeth. PDA, yes or no? Depends on the circumstance. It does, but generally no. Yeah, okay. generally like, no. Making out on the subway. No, never. The worst is when I'm walking down the street and there's like a couple outside of a cab, like full on making out. Yeah. No. And they get into the cab together. And I'm like, wait, you're not even saying goodbye. Like you just needed to make out right now. Right. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's it. Those are all the Ooh. questions. This was so fun. Thanks for having us. Of course. Thank you guys so much for coming. You're welcome back anytime. And if you guys have any specific questions, for Austin and Justin, please leave them down below in the comments or leave them on my Instagram because they're definitely gonna be back and we're gonna film some more videos. Keep looking out on my channel because we're gonna have a video coming up soon of them performing their new single, which is gonna be amazing. So definitely subscribe if you wanna see that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Peace.